You know, I'm gonna be real with y'all, like always. A lot of y'all know I'm going through a storm just like a lot of people. And the thing about storms is none of us are exempt from storms. It doesn't matter where you live, what zip code you live in, how rich you are, how poor you may think you may be, how fortunate or unfortunate you may think you may be. Storms, just like in the real world, they're gonna come. And sometimes storms come back to back to back. Sometimes you're in a season of storms where it feels like a ton of weight is on your heart. Where it's hard to sleep because you can't find peace where it's hard to give your best because all you feel is stress. Where it feels like there's a weight of worries that are on your soul. And it seems like nobody understands. People tell you it's gonna be all right. People tell you to stay strong. People tell you that, you know, things are gonna change. And while those things are true, it's hard to believe when nothing has changed. It's hard to believe when you're suffering loss after loss after loss after loss. Failure after failure. Setback after setback. And it feels like you don't have no more strength. If you're feeling like that today, or maybe you felt like that yesterday, or maybe you will feel like that in the future, I want to just tell you this, man. When it's all said and done, you got to fix your heart on the truth. You know, I was thinking about Good Friday and how Christ suffered and how we benefit so much off of the suffering that Christ went through, right? Suffered in pain, suffered in hurt, suffered. Why me, Lord? And in that suffering, we found so much strength. And I want to tell you something, man, that I often think about in my life. You know, sometimes strength feels like pain at first. Sometimes strength feels like setback at first. Sometimes strength feels like losses at first. Sometimes strength feels like depression at first. And if we don't fix our mind on the truth, and the truth is that you are an overcomer, the truth is that there are better days, the truth is that no matter how hard it may be, you got a God that will carry you through. And sometimes, you know, we're so focused on getting through it that we don't realize that we're getting through it. You know, getting through it doesn't, doesn't mean that you're happy, doesn't mean that you're smiling, doesn't mean that everything's going okay, doesn't mean that you're on the other side. Getting through it is struggling. It's like swimming across the river. When you're swimming across the river, you might go through tides, you might go through a strong current, you might go through, you know, tiredness, you might go through being weary. But in order to get to the other side of, of peace, to get to the other side of, of transformation, of get to the other side of faith, you got to be able to go through it. And sometimes going through it feels like crying. Sometimes going through it feels like depression. Sometimes going through it feels like stress. But all I want to tell you is this, man. I truly believe in, in my life and your life that after our breakdown comes our breakthrough. And it's hard to understand, man. Right now in my life, a lot of y'all know that I probably had the roughest month of, of a lot of people, man. Definitely the roughest, roughest month of my life. And it's hard for me to understand why. But as my mother always taught me, instead of understanding why, just trust the who. Instead of understanding why, just believe in the purpose. That there is a greater, there's a greater purpose. And so I want to say, man, when your prayers get faint, you don't feel like praying anymore, we don't feel like standing anymore. Please find the strength in God and give your burdens to him and let him carry you through. Because there's no test that you heard a million times without a testimony. There's no testimony, excuse me, without a test. And in order to be able to give the purpose to other people that are going through pain as I'm doing to you right now, you gotta go through the experience. And I wish we didn't have to, but we got to go through the experience because the pain has a higher purpose, a greater purpose than what you're currently experiencing. So for everybody that wants to throw in the towel, grab that towel and wipe that depression off. 
Wipe that weariness off, wipe those worries off and cast your burdens above. Because God got you. And this is a person that's in the middle of a storm right now, man. My heart is being flooded right now with worry, with pain, with doubt. But I'm still standing strong. I'm still standing strong, not because I have strength, not because I have it all together, not because I have some superpower. I'm standing strong because I'm standing on the promises that God made for us. Your breakthrough is going to come, man. Please believe it. Maybe people counted you out. Maybe people stopped checking on you. And that's how life goes, man. Everybody's life goes on and you still feel like you're still stuck in the same place. When you can't depend on people, just know you always can depend on God. When you can't depend on yourself, just always know that you, you can depend on God. And you keep fighting. Whatever that looks like for you. Don't compare your, your strength, your faith to someone else's. Whatever that looks like for you. Because I'll tell you this, man. People always ask me, Trent, how did you build what you built? First of all, it's because of God. Second of all, it's because I had great parents in my life. Third of all, it's because of my hard times. You don't get these messages because everything is sunshine and rainbows. You get these messages because I've been through it. That's why I can confidently tell you that you can get through it also. I want to tell you that you're not alone. I don't care how much influence somebody has, how many followers somebody has, how many whatever somebody has, the title of somebody's life, the point of the matter, the point of the fact is we all got struggles, man. We all go through it. Whether it's out loud or whether, it, whether it's a silent battle inside, we all go through it. And just know my hardest times, my hardest times built my strongest faith. My hardest times built my courage. My hardest times built the strength. My hardest times built the perspective. How you doing? How you doing? Thank you, Sharon. Thank you. Thank you, man. I know y'all trying, man. I know you're trying. I felt like, I don't feel like I know a big piece of my life is gone. And for y'all that know that, know for y'all to experience, experience it, man. And you know, where I'm weak, he is strong. And you gotta stand on that and live on that. You know, we think life is about all these things, man, that really don't matter. And this is something I've been saying since day one. We think life is about all these things that don't matter. Life to me is about creating experiences with those that you love and living your purpose. As my mom showed me with her life, man, live in purpose, live in presence, and live in priority. This life can make you forget all those things. This life can start making you chase the things that really don't matter. This life can make you start, cause I got a branch in my, <laughs> this life can make you start focusing on the things that, that really don't deserve your focus. Cause one thing is for sure, man. Two things is for certain. We all gonna have our dad. I talked to my grandma last night and she's in hospice, but she can still speak. And my grandma said, one thing is for sure, we all gotta leave. But what you leave here doesn't have to leave. So I just want you to ask yourself, man, what's the seeds that you plant in people's life every day? You know, it's so easy to get online and criticize somebody 
So easy to get online and try to point out somebody's wrong to make you feel better about yourself, whether it's the truth or not. It's so easy to tear somebody down. You know, that's the world that we live in. You know, it really makes me sick. You know, that's something I will never do because even if I disagree, I don't know that person's life. I don't know what that person's been through. I don't know that person's perspective. I just wish we lived in a world where we can help each other stand. That's why we, so many people go through these silent battles in life because they're so afraid to talk about what they're going through, so afraid to talk about their struggles because we live in a society that gets their high for making people feel low, that gets their significance off of proving people wrong all the time. And the truth of the matter is, man, none of us know what's right and from what's wrong, to be real with you. You know what I'm saying? We can go by our beliefs and what we truly believe and what we stand on. I'm going to always encourage you to stand on what you stand on. But just because you're standing on something don't mean that you can kick somebody else while they're down. Don't tell nobody how to deal with their pain, deal with what they're going through. I just wish we spent more time trying to understand each other as we do to judge each other. That's what life should be about. But we live in such an ego-driven, significance-driven society where we want to go in somebody's comment box. Or we just waiting for somebody's downfall. Or we just waiting for somebody's mistake and tear them down. And tear them down. I told y'all years ago, feel free to get your high for making me feel low because I'm always, always going to try to help people instead of hurt people. Ah, excuse me. Thank you. I'm always going to try to help people instead of hurt people. I'm always going to try to uplift, even if I disagree. Because who am I to say my way is right? It's just through my experiences of a life. Let's get it.